Okay, this will be a video chart on VSTNQ. This one's been an absolute beast. Uh, before you freak out, this is the 10 minute chart you're looking at, and this is the time frame we're gonna use for this one. Uh, real quick, the daily chart. Here we are, the reason I'm not gonna use the daily chart is, I mean, really you can't tell too much from it. I mean, uh, besides the past two days have been monsters with lots of volume. Besides that, you're, you can't really tell anything from it, like I said, from a trading perspective. So I'm gonna use a, a shorter term time frame and that way we can have a little bit more substance to talk about. So, you know, once again, this is the daily chart. This is probably what most people were used to seeing today. But what we're gonna do is break it down from the 10 minute view. And that way we can, you know, talk a little bit more in details about things. Real quick, what I mean by 10 minute view is instead of each one of these candlesticks representing one day, they just represent one minute or, or excuse me, 10 minutes worth of price action. So sure, this may look like multiple months here, but if you look down, you know, right here, all this is one day and then this stuff over here was from Friday. So uh, just keep that in mind that this is a 10 minute chart. So, you know, not to state the obvious, but this thing was an absolute beast. You know, here's where it came to life down here. Um, let's see, at, you know, right around basically 10 cents, we'll say a little bit above and it's shot all the way up to a high of uh, 95. So just a, a huge, huge move, um, just crazy. It's done some consolidating and pulling back today. Uh, still bullish and uh, you know things are still in an uptrend and so forth. Uh, but you know, just congratulations to everybody that has played this one as it's been just uh, um, you know, pretty much a freak of nature as far as I'm concerned. So where do we stand now? Um, like I said, today we had some pulling back, it, uh, you know, hit this and then Pulled, pulled back here, got a little sideways action, then headed back up, and then into the close, you know, you can see basically the last hour or so was down. Now, the thing to remember and look at is the overall trend remains up. Now, how do I say that when, you know, we had all these red candles? Well, if we look at the 50 period simple moving average and the 200 period simple moving average, you can clearly see both are still sloping upwards, so that's a good thing. That's showing that the overall trend is up. Short-term trend is uh, you know neutral right now neutral because if you look at these two moving averages the gray line here and then this red line gray line is a, a 10 period red line is a 20 period you can see they're just choppy back and forth so that's not saying that anything's bullish or bearish it's just completely neutral now as far as price levels and uh, areas you want to see hold the one level right now that I think is kind of the key well, actually, there's two of them because we have this nice little trend line here that we have going. Uh, but this is one area of support where ideally it would be great if this uh, one could hold uh, strong. If not, we do have another one, and that's based, once again, off of uh, these two areas right here. Uh, let me move that up a little bit. There we go. But we have uh, two highs back-to-back -back right here at uh, 45 cents. So this is an area where... You know, preferably it'd be great if the price could hold above there. I'm going to make that a little thicker to represent this being a little bit more. Uh, whoops, grab the wrong one there. Uh, but the 45 cent level, which is this, make that a little thicker because if that level can hold, that would be a great kind of sign that um, you know this move is going to uh, remain strong and keep going up. Now, if it doesn't, really, what that's kind of showing is that I'm probably going to head back down and test the 200 period. Now sure that's a long drop, but you got to remember what the daily chart looks like. is It's basically gone straight up. So if certain levels don't hold, once again this high being, or this high right here is at 45 cents. Uh, if that doesn't hold then look at the daily chart. There aren't really any other support levels below it. So that's the downside on, on charts that move up this quick. You know they, they really put big gaps in between resist, or support levels on the way down. So with a 45 cent break and you know close below, really there's not anything uh, to stop it until down here at the uh, 200 period. Now am I saying that's going to happen for sure? You know I have no idea with the way this chart's been going. Uh, you know for all we know it could come down here, hover around this trend line, and then blast back up here. You know I don't know, but you know from the charting perspective and where the support levels are, 45 cents is really the level you want to see hold. Because if it doesn't, uh, then you know from this charting perspective and from all the other ones. They're all showing that there's a pretty big gap between support levels, and that being, you know, 45 cents here, and the next one being not till down here, which is right around, you know, 20, 25 cents where uh, the 200 period is on the 10 minute. 
So just be advised, you know, if the 45 cent level doesn't hold, then, you know, I'm not saying you have to dump everything, but, you know, trade carefully and, uh, you know, just keep in mind that 45 cent level is important. Now, on the resistance side of things, it's looking right now like short term resistance is up at here at 70 cents. You can see that here it acted as support. And then when it fell, you know, textbook technical analysis, it became resistance right here. Sure, the prices didn't come up there and hit it exactly, but. Uh, you need to remember that support and resistance levels are not exact specific areas. They are, um, or not specific prices, they are areas. So this, if you picture kind of like a, a web around this, you can definitely see that the price got right up within that web and couldn't, get, get, couldn't quite get through it. Now with a break of 70 cents, really things thin out once again in terms of resistances. So it could uh, make a nice little move upwards. But uh, for the time being, I think the, the main uh, thing that needs to be monitored is what kind of or what kind of consolidation are we getting? Is it going to be a healthy one? Healthy meaning the price either comes down here or down to 45 and and goes sideways or back up, or are we going to get you know kind of more of a brutal one where it goes crashes but down through there and then that's where things could get messy. Um, so I wouldn't be worried as much right now as trying to get through these resistances. I think right now the chart needs to relax a little bit. So the main concern needs to be more around what sort of consolidation it's going to do around these support levels. That's what I, that in my opinion, at least that's what I'd be looking for is making sure we get a healthy consolidation. So if there are any other questions on VSTNQ, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook, which has been getting very good reviews. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get charts, setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. And best part is everything's free. So it's worth at least signing up and giving a try. One last time, this was VSTNQ. Thanks for listening.